Hello gentlemen, my name is Peter and I'd like to enlist your support for My Little Tax Revolt. In the past, when you wanted to have a tax revolt, you actually had to stand up against somebody. They actually, in the past when they had to collect taxes, they actually had to send somebody by with a club to come by and threaten you with violence so that you would give up your, ta your taxes that you were owed to the king or owed to whoever. Nowadays, they don't even have to see you. Actually, they do it through your employer, and they take your taxes right out of your check before you ever see them. So you really don't have a choice in the matter. So how, this, uh, how it works nowadays is that when you get a job, you have to fill out a bunch of paperwork, and one of the forms you fill out is a W-4 form, which is, uh, tells the employee withholding allowance certificate. So what they're doing is they're, they're taking money out and they're putting money into the owner of the company's bank account where he or she earns interest on it all year long and then at the end of the year they cut a check to the IRS and also send the form along saying how much money they've put into that account for you and then it is your job to go back to the IRS and fill out a 1040 EZ and try and reclaim some of that money that you've been paying them all year not all of it, you don't ever get any of it back you don't even get all of the, the principal back uh, and throughout the year somebody's actually been earning interest off of your labor and then when you get that check back oh it's a big thousand dollar check or something like that you get to uh, you know you get to go have a big old party and stuff like that but uh, my little tax revolt involves just putting a nine here in box five and reducing your tax liability reducing the amount of money they take out of your check every day or every month or every week or whatever how often you get paid it reduces the amount of money that they take out of your check and puts it into your pocket it doesn't go to that bank account for your employer where they can earn interest on it you can actually take it and put it in your bank account and earn interest yourself the trick to this is at the end of the year do not fill out a 1040 EZ because when you fill out a 1040 EZ and sign it and send it off that is an agreement between you and a private banking institution that says you are going to pay or be paid just BS make them come get it from you make it like the old times and make them come get it from you but they never will because you don't make enough and honestly if I get enough 18 to 35 year old white males to do this we can run a tax revolt and say we're not paying you guys for bombs to go to uh, you know a, a desert country that you're never gonna visit there's no vacation spots there it's a, it's a war zone tell them you're not going to pay them for uh, tell them you're not gonna pay them to send young guys to die in a desert for what for oil for opium <laughs> why send it over there tell them you're not gonna pay for some slug to sit on their butt and collect checks and stuff like that and breed and eat up all of your labor because that's what this is really about is your labor you have no other way to measure wealth except for labor dollars are an example dollars are a marker of your time that you have spent working and before you ever get a dollar somebody else is out there taking part of it the IRS or your employer is withholding it from you so that they can pay these taxes that oh you just gotta pay your taxes no you don't it is illegal for them to collect these taxes with you there is no law on the books that says you have to pay them and honestly the Constitution of the United States protects you from paying them because article 1 section 10 that has never been amended says something like you don't you can you're not allowed to pay your debts in anything but gold and silver that has never been amended and honestly the trader Woodrow Wilson uh, signed away took uh, signed an executive order that rounded up all your gold and took it away so you have you're left with nothing to pay them with if you put a nine in box five or uh, put a nine in box five on this form you will lower your lower the amount that they take out of your check drastically if you're an 18 to 35 year old white male that doesn't own anything you don't own any property you don't own a car you don't own any real estate why are what are you paying for what are you paying for for some other slug to sit around and get fat off of your dime get it fat off of your work now stop doing that 
18 to 35 year old white males are called the magic demographic in America because they work the longest hours, they spend the most money on, they have the most expendable cash, and uh, they pay the most taxes. So a lot of your advertising that you see in newspapers and magazines and stuff is actually targeted towards 18 to 35 year old white males because you are the giant cash cow that this country runs on. Nobody else. Nobody else but 18 to 35 year old white males. The magic demographic. So if I could get 20% of the magic demographic to put a 9 in box 5, all we'd have to do then is send a message to our masters and say, you know, we're not paying for your BS anymore. And force them to try and come get it. And they never will. They, they never will. They can go, oh, they're going to audit me. You're not a big enough fish to fry. They're going after the people that are evading taxes for millions of dollars. And honestly, you're not evading taxes. You're pay not paying illegal taxes, and you don't have anything to pay them with. I can't remember any time that anybody showed me any gold and silver coins that I can pay my taxes in. I can't remember any time that I've been paid in gold and silver that I can pay my taxes in. Follow along with me, kids. Take a chance. Reach down in your pants. Grab your balls and say, Fuck you. I'm not paying you. I'm not paying you to start wars. I'm not paying you to import illegal immigrants. I'm not paying you to import drugs that run across my streets. I'm not paying you to find dirty needles in my town, to have people passing out in alleyways in my town. Because that's what you're paying for right now when you're claiming zero. You're giving them a gigantic blank check so that you, they, can, they can do whatever they want and make your life miserable. They want you to go to war, they want you to go, to go to work, they want you to do all this stuff, but what are they giving you? As an 18 to 35 year old white male myself, I don't take part in any public services. I don't get any handouts, I don't get any benefits. Use your white privilege, 18 to 35 year old males. You've been told you have white privilege for so long, this is where it comes from. This is it. This is your white privilege. This is your white privilege to not pay them. If you put a nine there, they're going to stop taking federal taxes out, okay? Your check will get so much bigger. You're going to end up paying 11% to the state, about 11% to the state for, uh, you know, roads, schools, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you're not, ever, you're not going to be able to get out of that. The, this form doesn't cover that. But 11%, that's one more percent than the Bible says you should tithe. So, if you're going to render unto Caesar, render unto the, him to the correct amount. 11%. That seems reasonable. Uh, to have society, to have police come when you call, to have the fire department come when you call. Put a nine there. And go get that extra burger patty. Go get that bacon on your burger. Maybe, hey, on payday, treat yourself to a, to a steak. <laughs> anyway... 18 to 35 year old white males, please put a nine there. And if you get scared halfway through the year, put a zero there, and then you're, it will balance out when you get scared and you fill out that 1040 easy. But this is all about not being afraid of your lying, cheating government that uses your money for nothing except for war and misery. My name is Peter Myers, and thank you for listening.